Hello everybody and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I will show you how to export or how to plot a PDF from AutoCAD, but not from model, from layout for today. So don't make this mistake like a lot of people, so you will be able to export from layout after this video. So let's get started. First of all, I will try to export these drawings. If you don't know how to draw these things, I will put you a link in the description and also a link right here. So let's get started. First of all, I will I want to export these pieces that are made from a scale one to one. I want to export them into a A3 paper. So let's draw first the A3 style. I will go with a rectangle or maybe with a line, why not? With this dimensions. I will activate the auto command. So the first one, it will be 420 and 297 again and back up okay and now I have a a3 paper but let's say you want to put it into a folder so I will let here a little space for it to make two holes and you know this idea I will go now with some parallel lines, so that means offset command. Here I will let a distance of 20, here 5, and here 5, 5 again units. So first of all offset 20, now offset 5 for those three lines. Now I will go with the command fillet multiple. So fillet M for multiple and let's start to draw some straight angles. The advantage of this command is that you will not repeat the fillet command error from every single time. And here we have it, our A3 paper. Now let's make a block. So I'll type block, I'll write here A3. Okay, so let's say A3 project. Okay, select objects, enter, create block. And now I have a block. Let's start to put our piece in, the, in this paper. So copy, disable the ortho command. Let's say I will put it here and here okay the next step is I will go with the new layout I will delete everything is here I want to understand completely so first of all I will go here with edit page setup and I will select here first one bg to pdf and now I will select the ISO full bleed a3 but here because i will select the landscape here if it is the case i will select the portrait mode and i don't want it here is the orientation is good i will type at lay i will let it at layout it's very important to be at layout not display not window and here the custom scale is not good i will put one to one scale because my drawings are made one to one scale I will select this one, I will select print object line weights, scale line weights, everything now is perfect and type OK. And now the next step, go back, select this block, right click and copy it. Just copy it, nothing fancy and put it here. Exact, try to be exactly in the corner. And here we have it. Next step, I will go, I will copy this thing where I can put all the names, all the stuff, all the information. So go again with the same command, clipboard, copy, and go in the layout too. Now, go with the move command, select this block, and put it exactly in this corner. Now, go with the right click and not new viewport, viewport and go with polygonal viewport. It's very important, go in every single point. I'll show you how easy it is. 
so you'll create now the viewport press enter and you have it i want to show first a thing to be very clear so double click in the exterior of the page you see if you're holding this wheel of the mouse you can move the drawing but if you'll double click inside pay attention to these areas automatically you'll be in the model so just double click it and now when you hold the wheel of the mouse you will move the model so not the layout you can zoom in zoom out and double click outside to go out from the viewport you see now you don't have it anymore but go inside again double click inside and you will see here is the viewport and now let's say i want to select this drawing okay go with the zoom command type zoom or just type just z and now press shift and right click go with the endpoint and go with the interior rectangle very important and now again don't press anything just shift and right click again for the endpoint the second endpoint and automatically you will have here click double click outside and your paper is finished let's try again with the other paper but first you can delete this block you see you can delete it and let's try to plot it so command p yes yes everything is correct preview and let's say this is our drawing it's perfect you can write here all the information that you need everything it's perfect save as pdf go with desktop or whatever you want but first let's change the name let's say paper one you can duplicate it it's not a problem change the name again paper two and double click again go in the viewport and go again with the zoom command shift right click and point shift right click and point again double click outside and you have the paper too command p plot it or right click here preview to be sure that everything is perfectly fine yes it's perfect and now go with save pdf type paper 2 and save it you can see here on my desktop that i saved just the paper 2 and the paper 2 looks exactly the same that i want to be i hope this video helped you as always don't forget to like share with others subscribe to my channel and see you next time